Hey guys, it's Ashley. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys all of my favorite beauty products, my holy grail all time favorite beauty products, at least right now. Now, this is more skincare and hair care and like body versus like makeup. I, uh, makeup's gonna be a whole nother video because that would just be way too many products if I explained all my favorites right now. If you guys are new here, hi, I'm Ashley. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button to become part of our family. But if you're not new here, welcome back, guys. Good to see ya. So with that being said, let's just get right on into the video. All right, where do I begin? Um, I guess I'll kind of just go in order of how I would be using these products So for starters my new all-time favorite makeup wipes as of very very recently are these pond makeup wipes These ones literally feel like you're washing your face without having to wash your face They're not too rough, but they're not too soft where they break apart It's literally like washing your face with like a cloth. I would highly highly recommend these Um, I know they have like this like cold cream stuff That's like a cream that gets off all your makeup and this has some of that built in it And these literally just melt the makeup right off of your face. I love these more than anything. All-time favorite. Definitely check these out if you have not tried them. All right, so as for some shower products, my all-time favorite body scrub is this one by Soap and Glory. This stuff smells so good. Oh my god, it's called Flake Away. Um, my label came off, but this is like one, like probably like my 10th one that I've used so far because it's so good. But not only does it just smell really good, but it also exfoliates your skin really well. I always try to exfoliate with this before I shave, and then it just makes everything 10 times better and keeps my skin super smooth. Speaking of shaving, I know this is kind of weird to talk about, but if you're someone that gets razor burns really, really easily, I'm one of those people as well, so I can relate with that. I found that switching to men's razors is definitely the move. If you guys have sensitive skin, definitely try out using men's razors. These ones specifically are my favorite ones that I've been using for months and months and months. The Gillette Fusion 5, really, really good. Highly recommend. All right, so as for shampoo, I am blonde, so I do use purple shampoo. So these are two of my favorites that I like to switch in with my regular shampoo as well. But this one's a little bit more expensive. It's by Dry Bar. It's called Blonde Ale, but this one works really, really well. But if you're looking for a cheaper option, this one by Matrix, I think it's like $8, like nothing crazy. This one works just as good. Now, I don't use those shampoos every single day unless I want that gray look. Sometimes I'm just in the mood for like a very silver hair, but when I use those ones, usually like once a week, I'll leave it in my hair for like 10 minutes, and then after I wash it out and dry it and everything, my hair is like almost white, and I love that look every once in a while, but recently I haven't been doing it too much. But when I do use purple shampoo, I leave it in for like 10 minutes and then wash it out and then you have some white looking hair and I love that look sometimes. I want it right now but I, I just don't. I don't know. I didn't have time. Okay. Okay. If you guys have really broken hair like me then you will love this little mask. Um, I, I got a sample of it in like one of those like 500 point packs from Sephora and it came with um, just a few like living proof products and it pretty much changed my life because I bought everything in full size that was in that mini box. But the living proof restore mask treatment thing works so well. It is pretty pricey. I think the actual big bottle of it's like $30. But if you have $30 to spend and the end of your hair is just needing some help, I would highly recommend getting this mask. This mask changed my life. Like, wow. Now, as for face wash, if you guys have not already seen my skincare video, I'll link it above and also below. If you've seen it, then you know. But if you haven't, you guys know I stand by using just Cetaphil. I cannot stand face washes with like benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid or any chemicals that mess with your face and try to get rid of acne and just end up causing more acne. I just, I cannot use anything with products. I try to use the most gentle products on my skin. And since I have made that change, my whole face has gone completely clear. Like I don't have any breakouts. Like yes, I'm wearing foundation, but like I don't have any breakouts and I haven't had breakouts in quite a while. Unless it's like that time of the month, you know, like just like girly things and like that happens but like even then like what one pimple now since this is so gentle I like to use it with a face brush you guys know I love the vanity planet daily cleansing brush I stand by this one I tell everyone about this brush <laughs> like everyone I know has it a lot of you guys have it and you've tweeted me results and it's working for you guys too so that's totally awesome I'm pretty sure the technical name for it is like the ultimate skin spa by vanity planet now in case you guys didn't already know the ultimate skin spa comes with three different attachment heads the daily cleansing brush which I like to use every single day the exfoliant exfoliating brush, which I use when I'm looking for more of a deeper clean. If I have a lot of makeup on my face, then usually I'll use that to get it all off. And then they also have a silicone brush, which I like to use mainly to apply my moisturizer. I feel like it puts on my moisturizer very well and helps it sink into my skin a lot more. Or if I haven't worn a lot of makeup for a couple days, then I'll just use that one because it's the most gentle on your skin. Now, I do love this brush because it is very, very soft on my skin. I have very sensitive skin, as I said before. So when you have sensitive skin like me, you need a soft brush. So this one is very, very soft and will not harm your skin at all. Now that silicone brush is made of quick drying non-porous silicone that resists bacteria buildup, making it more hygienic.
organic than standard cleansing brushes. This silicone is also very durable, so you don't have to worry about changing brush heads every couple of months. Now, I highly recommend to anyone and everyone to get a face brush because, for example, like this one cleanses six times better than just using your actual hands. Not only that, but it's exfoliating your skin, keeping your skin looking healthy and clear. Plus, they also increase your skin hydration levels, which also boosts collagen, so that's awesome. We want to look young and we want to look pretty forever <laughs> or as long as we can. Plus, if you're a beauty guru like me, you want some flawless skin to put your flawless makeup on for flawless application. Amen. So if you guys do want to check out the brush, the link will be in the description. And if you use my code ASGLOWS, you can get 70% off of your skin brush. <laughs> now, as for the moisturizer that I use, I switched to the Ultimate Repair Cream Moisturizer by First Aid Beauty. Now, this is my all-time favorite thing that I've been pushing onto all of my friends. My good friend Ivan, I saw that he had it and Amari tried it and Amari was like, wow, that moisturizer is so amazing. And I was like, wait, really? Like, let me try it. My friend Trevor has super dry skin and he loves this. My friend Amari has super oily skin and he likes this. My friend Ivan has normal to combination skin and he loves this. I as well have combination skin and it works beautifully for me. This doesn't keep me too greasy or anything, but it still hydrates my skin so much. It is a little bit thicker. It takes a minute for it to sink in, but I mean, I put this stuff literally all over my face and it does feel thick for a couple minutes, but once you let it sink in, it literally like mattifies your face and you just look like you're glowing from within. It's the best moisturizer I have tried in my life, hands down. <laughs> They're not paying me to say this. Also, First Aid Beauty also has a little like lip balm. It's the Ultimate Repair Lip Therapy. This stuff is amazing. It's kind of like the Aquaphor little like squeezy tubes, but it's, I don't know, it's First Aid Beauty. I wanted to try it and I really, really like it. So if you want to try it, it's good. I really like her. Now, since we're talking about moisturizer, I might as well talk about lotion. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Right. Awesome. So, as I was saying, since we're talking about moisturizer, obviously, look, I gotta throw this lotion in here. Now, this lotion is just like one of them from Urban Outfitters. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. Um, the scent of this, it's like late de coco. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what the accent was. I don't know what I'm trying to. I. It, it's. It's this. You know what? It's this. These have the same exact smell. If you smell me and I smell good, it's because of this little body mist perfume, whatever. It says hair and body mist. I don't know. I have like the little perfume bottles. I have the big perfume bottles. I have the hand cream just because this smell is the best smell in the world. Every time I hug someone, they tell me I smell amazing and I swear it's because of this just saying. Highly recommend. If you're looking for like a cheap perfume, I think this was, see this big, big, big bottle that I've had for like months is like barely even dented and it's only $24. Like, are you kidding? And then they have the mini ones for like $16 and you know, get it. If you want a new scent, definitely try this out. It's from Urban Outfitters. Absolutely obsessed with it. It's a coconut one. If you guys know me, you know I love coconut everything. That's one of them. All right. Now I know this is kind of weird to be talking about, but if you, uh, uh, how do I, how do I talk about this? Like not in a weird way. Okay. Well, basically I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. Some deodorant wasn't Ever working for me and I couldn't figure out why like I would always just end up smelling like BO not not like bad BO like I'm still like a princess but like you know you get that smell after a couple hours and it's annoying well if you don't want to wear weird scented deodorant and then have that mixed in with your BO just so then your BO smells like sour apple weird cucumber I don't even know what smells try this this is it's called certain dry it's like a antiperspirant roll-on thing and basically like before bed you put this on and then when you wake up you don't smell like anything you smell like that cocoa perfume that you were wearing before I absolutely love this stuff it just like it like literally stops you from like smelling like sweat or just stops you from sweating I don't really know but it's awesome if you guys have like armpit problems definitely try this out but uh, try not to shave and then put this on where you just shave because it will sting really bad just saying all right so once I am out of the shower I like to use leave-in conditioners I'll usually spray myself with some of this living proof restore what is this perfecting spray this helps with like heat protection and then also getting all the tangles out of your hair and just make, giving your hair like a really nice texture also alongside with this Mark Anthony Moroccan oil leave-in conditioner stuff it's like three day smooth smoothing cream removes frizz adds shine and holds hair straight for up to three days well it's just like a really really good leave-in conditioner it doesn't make my hair feel like too like crinkly or anything it just like makes it feel super duper smooth I would highly recommend this one it's not too expensive pretty inexpensive this is a little bit more expensive so if you have to pick one pick this one it's cheap and it's really really good now if you're using that stuff and your hair is still really crusty then I would definitely recommend obviously using hair oil after you've already styled it I really like the light Moroccan oil if you have thin hair like me you definitely want to get the light one so your hair doesn't just look all gunky and oily and I only use this stuff on my ends but when I do it just makes my hair just look so nice and smooth and shiny and healthy when it's 
kind of not. Also, this is kind of like the same thing. It gets rid of frizz. It's like humidity control. It's also by Living Proof. Their products are just amazing. I've, I've been realizing recently. You use this after you've styled your hair. If your hair is like really, really frizzy still and just like looks dead, if you add some of this on there. Ooh, and it smells good. It, it just like kind of adds like loose oil. Like a, it's like an oil spray almost, but it's so good. All right. Now, these two products are my actual babies. I will not go anywhere without them. Dry bars, dry shampoo, and triple sec. Honestly, I don't really know what the triple sec does other than like, yeah, it's like a texture spray or whatever, but the smell of this is just so amazing that I can't not use it. Absolutely love this. It just like, it can give your hair like more volume. It kind of holds your curls and just like refreshes your look. Like you just spray some in there. I'm just spraying my hair with everything right now. Oh, it smells so good. Like I don't even care if it works. It's like vanilla e man, but like rich lady. I don't know. It's so good. They literally have like a candle in this. Like they know that this stuff smells so good. And then obviously dry shampoo. You guys know what dry shampoo does. This is my all time favorite one. I have like a hundred bottles of this in my house at all times. If you guys are blonde, the regular one works really well. I know that they do have one for brunettes too. So if you're brunette, obviously get the brunette one. But this has been helping my hair so, so, so much because I was going from like wash it every single day or even every other day to like, like once a week <laughs> like, or like twice a week which is like honestly how often you should be washing your hair so yeah I don't know I really really like this dry shampoo if you haven't tried it you should absolutely try it all right so as for lashes I have been um using new lashes recently before I was using the Vegas Nay blue pack and they started to look like not so good anymore so then I ended up switching to the Vegas Nay these are the wrong ones damn it it kind of looks like this but it's bronze not golden the bronze pack is pretty good um sometimes they're a little bit too dramatic but if you like dramatic then definitely try out the bronze pack kind of looks like this but like not these these ones are a little bit too separated for me i don't know i don't really like that look so like that's like cheaper eyelashes that are good the bronze pack is like bronze something but if you have a little bit more cash then i definitely recommend like the fluff and edgy velour ones from sephora now these ones these are so pretty these are the ones that i'm usually wearing recently um fluff and edgy and then i think it's like fluff and wispy i go back and forth between those two i like them both a lot but last time didn't have wispy so i just got hella edgy ones so yeah, I really really like them. Alright, so I think that's all of the products that I have for you guys today As I'm like looking over at my like couch to, see, to like make sure that that's everything Um, yeah, those are all my favorite products. Those are the products that I cannot go without absolutely love them But one more thing that I would love to add are these <laughs> if you guys have not tried these you have to try these If you guys like mints or like gum or whatever you're like a minty girl Like I always like to have like a fresh mouth these little like mints. They're so good they're like mini Mentos. Literally, I eat like 12 of these a day. I have like 10 packs around the house at all times. Me and Tana love these so much. Highly recommend. Just saying. All these products will be linked down below in the description as always. This week's notification squad shout out goes to Riley, aka Simply Schwan on Twitter. I love you so much. Thank you for the support. If you guys want to be next week's shout out, just tweet me at Ashley Schwan with the hashtag Ashley Squad. All of my social media will be linked down below in the description as always. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.